All right, so that out of the way, let's shift gears into the thrust of the conversation. We're talking about discovering your purpose. And then we, uh, we did a bit of introduction about it last week. So we'll just give you a snippet of what it really means, uh, just a recap. And then we'll get into the thrust of it itself. So joining us once again is a regular phase. Uh, I should say our regular counselor. <laughs> Uh, or, or resident counselor. A resident counselor. He's a, he's a lecturer, he's a man of God, he's a leader of a church, uh, he's an um, um, security expert uh -huh. as well. He's a father to beautiful girls. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Apostle Thomas Kusia Pia. He's not a doubting one, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Apostle Wang, Good to have you back. Hey. hey! No, not TikTok, Mpo. Oh, Hero! Hero. Hero <laughs> Reverend, oh, Hero <laughs> Apostle Thomas Kujapia. Kujapia. He was born in August, so he's a hero. Yeah, hero, you're welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? And welcome back. Oh, you <laughs> heard about what, it. From where were you hiding? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was in, uh, you know. Don't worry, I don't, don't, explain fresh air. Don't, don't explain yourself. Don't explain yourself. Diego Parker. Yes, but. The <laughs> only general on TV. Thanks you, thanks you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm blushing. I'm also blushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nominating you for award, though. TV and radio personality. Congratulations. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're already a winner. Eh, into you. There's a nomination at Bank One there. Send recognition at Bank One there. So we can say we are doing that. And that alone is enough. As for the rest, Nidi, I now pray to be said the the highest bidder. Exactly. And how now I'm in town for two fast and he put my recognition. Right. Oh yeah, to me that's enough. So he's a true hero. So as to say, we'll be meeting each other this year. Money, oh, Money, we're already a winner. Yeah. Thanks, you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. My TV has All right, that's a couple. Be. But please, uh, um, I think uh, yeah, viewers may, yeah, uh, we try to find some support. Mm. Uh, but I wouldn't watch any budget. Oh, that, that's uh, you, right there. Yeah. 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 So that's I think it's a one answer to a short code in the Dana. I remember trying a short code, no, a star four four seven. Star seven one four ash or star eight zero zero star seven one four ash and then you enter the nominee code which is gh two one eight and then you follow uh, that or you can get onto the website www.castvotesgh.com The name is William Dego Parker Benny for TV and Radio Personality of the Year. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So proud of you. Yeah, same so proud of you. Yeah, thank you. I said the only general on TV. On TV. Thanks. The rest are. That, that's another my dear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the other, at the yes, last we started off yeah. with, I'm describing your purpose. Your purpose yeah. And we, we said purpose is a reason, mm. or the 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 reason for the existence of a thing. A DP we just be there's a purpose for it. Mm -hmm. He also, I always say, say and like I said last. So week, it's not even limited to just human beings. No, even in this room, check. Is there anything here that? Um, HS decided to buy without any reason. Mm -mm. Everything in this will serve a purpose. Yes. So if this light decides not to come right now, we put it off. Mm. Sure. Right, because the purpose for it, for us to shine or mm. bright so that I can do as that. So I, I think I will start off with the initial quotation. I think I, I gave that scripture the last time we were talking about childbirth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 1, verse 20, mm -hmm. where God blessed him with mankind said, so Be fruitful. fruitful. You see, like I said, we always jump to the multiplication. That's the challenge. I'm worried about the height. You know, an average person, I yeah, know, no. oh, but God said we should multiply. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. he started off by saying, Be fruitful. fruitful. And that fruitfulness. Mm. It speaks of your purpose. Mm. Discover who you are and live by it. But you see, if you understand this, then you also know that God, in His own wisdom, created each one of us to solve a problem. Mm -hmm. So He designed that specifically for a task. Mm. There's a task rule. So I think last week we read Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, where the Bible speaking said, To everything there's a purpose for it, there's a season. Mm. Which means, as you are here right now, there's a specific purpose, right? And we spoke of our um, six principles that we should know that God is a God of principles. Mm -hmm. okay. Everything on this earth, there's a, a, a purpose for it. Mm -hmm. So you should know if you don't, if you think you don't have a purpose, you have a purpose. Mm -hmm. So you should start looking for it. Then um, the uh, ignorance of your purpose mm -hmm. does not cancel your purpose. So don't oh, really? assume because okay. you don't know your purpose, you don't have mm -hmm. it. You have it. Okay. I, I do, do okay. get it. Okay. And when purpose is not known, abuse is inevitable. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. That's how we abuse children. That's how people yeah, even abort babies. That, that is from Mas Moro. Yeah, Mas Moro. Mm. Yeah. That's how people even abort babies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Imagine a judge or that person who is pregnant right now, think of aborting the baby. If an angel of God should visit the person and say, this girl or this baby in your womb is the savior of the world, mm. is the one God going to use to do ABC, would that person abort the baby? Mm. So because we don't know the purpose of that child, that's you end up aborting the baby. And sometimes when I'm talking about abortion, so I'm very passionate because and every person on the street don't know that among all the earths in the womb as a woman, mm. there's one that will put a star on. Mm. Yes. But you never know which one comes. So that's what the issue is. So if you don't, if you just think, oh, I'm not ready, and you start aborting your baby, if your um, your first son happens to be the one carrying the son, but now he's already dead. Mm. And today, I'm even the woman and what the hell that. And so sometimes many women today have already killed the weekend, the savior of the house. So yeah, can you see on the, on the flip side, not to cut you though. On the flip side, those who that who who come and die, not out of your the parents' decisions, would you also say that no the anyaku pon eshe dai yomu fiho because they wouldn't serve any purpose. No, see one thing we should understand always. I tell people just when the coronavirus came, mm -hmm. I mean we hear people like anyaku pon oha. Why would they? I'm like you people don't understand. Mm -hmm. God is a God of integrity. Mm -hmm. It's just like you having your room. And assign a room to your daughters. Just this morning, before I entered my daughter's room, I know it. Mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't just get up and say, ah, she's my daughter. No! I had to know that I have Can I come? She said, yeah, I, I went in. The same way God created this earth and willed it to man. He said, God said, let them have dominion. That statement is a statement of will. Okay. He gave us authority over this earth. Mm -hmm. So for us to, or for God to enter here, He needs our permission. That's how we pray. So anytime we are praying, we are surrounding our will under his will. Mm. That's what prayer is. That's what I say. If the people who are called by my name will humble this and pray, then I will come. So whenever God wants to do something, he needs. So I tell people, even when you are praying for something, mm -hmm. you should remember, everything comes from God through men to men. Mm -hmm. So whatever you are looking for, yes, it will come from God. But he must pass it through yeah, another, another person before it gets to you. Mm -hmm. So what it means is that when you decide to kill a baby, mm. God has no way about it. It's your duty. It's your choice. He gave us the power of choice. That's why someone can come, go and stand or sit in the lab and do all kind of viruses and send it and use it to kill people. God did not come there and shut it down, no. Okay, so what I was asking actually was um, out of negligence, some babies are lost from the, maybe the doctors or nurses who are operating the, the mother or something. Would that also say that maybe God didn't save them because they don't really have a purpose? God don't yes. say in that case, like I said, because he's given us the power to make a choice. That's why there's judgment. So the choice was in the hands of the nest or the That's doctor. what I'm saying. So that child grows to. So if somebody like decides to not choose to drink alcohol mm -hmm. and now drive carelessly and kill you, he has killed you. <laughs> it's a choice that he made to, to drink alcohol. Okay. It's not your fault though, okay. but somebody's choice. Okay. Always so that power. Man yes. Man. Mm. So many of us are being killed by others every day after the road accident. Mm -hmm. It's a choice. Mm -hmm. That's how you pray that work from time. That's another teacher today that, that God should always connect you to the right because somebody can make a wrong choice and you happen to be there. Mm. And it's an accident. That, that, that choice will destroy you. It's your an accident, life. but it's a, somebody's choice. Mm. Somebody would decide to point, uh, put a bomb here. Then let's say you are wrong. Mm -hmm. I, I, so yeah. you just pray for God to now order yourselves. Mm. If not, you can find yourself. That's the same. You should pray so you don't fall into all temptation. 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 You can fall into any pit at any time because mm. another man has made a choice. Mm. <laughs> Not to cover that pit. Mm. You understand? Mm. <laughs> That's why sometimes when I, I speak with pain, when we look at the way our leaders are handling issues in Ghana, mm. for thinking that maybe a Yamiba tree, no. God has given us this brain to use. So I find that down here, and you're a pot host, no kum crofu, and I say, but if you know kum, yeah, yeah, choice, and you're kum. So there was a time when everybody died, I did mm -hmm. an evidence and said, we killed okay. it. Because just when there was a change of power, quickly, all road construction was halted. Mm -hmm. Constructors, uh, uh, contractors were mm -hmm. asked to oh. get, and people left. I mean, heap of sand. Sands on the and somebody drives it and would okay, we are, we are, we are, no. So when you buy for, you see, we are we are quick to now apportion blame to witches, wizards. So we are being irresponsible every day, from our leaders to us, all of us, mm -hmm. because we can easily say so. Buy for, no, we have a choice to make every day. There's a decision to make. Mm -hmm. Small portal, you have a man who no will be, then we now quickly look for a, a son to go and cover. Me, we could have done that yesterday. Why should we wait for somebody to die? Mm. So, those things are there. It's another teaching altogether, right. which yeah. I believe in leader. No matter when I'm talking about leadership, I mean, sometimes the, the we type, I need because Ghana, you probably hear leadership. 
True. For that thing that God has given us the power to decide, mm -hmm. He even needs our permission to come in. That's why we pray. Mm -hmm. So if you decide not to invite Him, He will say, like I said, He's a God of integrity. You see, he, His word, he, he, there, there's something that way is about His word. He can't go against His own word. Mm -hmm. That's God for you. He cannot. The day He said, let them have dominion, it was a complete will He gave us. Okay. Uh, when you're talking, you're talking about some six principles that you have. Yeah. But, um, at what point should one figure out his purpose? Yeah, so I believe, I think last week we touched, last we said, we touched on bit and pieces, but one, mm -hmm. we first said that as a human being, you should discover that, or you should know, there are two major things you need to have in your life, mm -hmm. your work and your job. But this is what an average person on the street don't know. Mm -hmm. Because our society teaches us to discover our work, uh, our job, which is our skill. Mm -hmm. So dear, your mother will tell you, dear, you, know, you have to go to school, you have to learn, build mm -hmm. yourself, so you can be employed. Mm -hmm. All that advice is moving you, pushing you towards your job. Your job is your skill. Mm -hmm. Your work is your purpose. Mm -hmm. Your purpose is what God has built in you mm -hmm. for a reason. Mm -hmm. So that you, so God is expecting each one of us to solve, as, like I said, a specific problem. Mm -hmm. Now I tell people that look, the, the people in the books of God, they are still not yet alive. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are on this earth, mm -hmm. but you are not alive. It's just like you have been, you. It, yes, it's just like you have been assigned to man the date here to ensure that you're the spirit man. Nobody enters here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you get here and say, Oh me, I love playing tennis. So you end up on the tennis floor playing straw and people are now cheering you up. Then people enter here and steal all the equipment here. Do you know what the message that we will send to your boss? I'm from one more you know, you're around. Yeah. The father you are around doesn't mean you're living. Yeah. The father you're on this doesn't mean you're living. Your, your purpose is to answer a specific problem. Mm. You have a solution to that problem. How do you know that problem? We are going to get there. Okay. But I want you see, we need to appreciate the fact that they are certain. So one, you should understand the difference between a work, work. and a job. And as a, a human, you must have it. So I tell people, that's why in my ministry work, I tell people I don't charge because that's my way. Whenever you discover your work, you put money aside. God, what is something God has built? Like I said, was man cast upon a million. When he discovered that my whole life is built on this, this is the reason why God allowed me to, to, to escape my mother's womb, to come out alive. See, man, yeah, I mean, yeah, they mean, yeah, there's a judgment on me. You see, the whole concept of judgment is on this. Uh, well, sorry, Apostle. Sad part in our say, you won't charge, you know. Uh, we have you know, yeah, talent, but, you know. That's what I'm saying. Remember the talent story. That's what I'm saying. So I mentioned that mm -hmm. my ministry, I don't charge. Mm -hmm. okay. But I have my security aspect where I train people. I okay. charge. That's my job. Okay. So I'm saying that when you discover your job, your job is what puts food on your table. They okay. skill you for part. Okay. That's what you use to pay your bills, to pay your student fees. But when it comes to your work, because you see, the, your work is, your, your payment is not from the money you're receiving, mm -hmm. but your payment is about the impact you're making. So as many people who so are you shouldn't blessed, put much emphasis on the money. So when, the I say, when you are able to discover your work and your job, mm -hmm. you realize that this is what you need to put food on your table. But this is what God has blessed me with to Problem. be a blessing unto others. So when you read first, mm -hmm. your Bible is a read first Peter chapter four verse ten. The Bible <laughs> will tell you. We are back at it. Yes. So when it comes mm -hmm. to your work, you see, you are designed. So when it comes to your gifts, as to say your talent, those things that God has already placed in you, mm -hmm. it's not for money. It's for impact. Mm -hmm. you, you are, and like I said, you see, most of the time, an average person will tell you, I'm praying that God should connect you to my divine helper. Mm -hmm. You know what Jesus said? Do unto others. What you want others to do. That is it. So, in, as much as you are praying for people to come into your life, divine helpers, you must equally be a divine helper unto others. Sure. You don't expect divine helper to come and charge you. You expect this one to come and help you. How many people are you helping yourself? Mm -hmm. This is what the message is. So, so, the Bible we are reading, we read it to, uh, to, uh, to for our excitement. Oh, well, yes, you're right, mommy, divine helper. You are equally a divine helper. helper. How many people are thanking God for your sake? That I thank God that I met Diego. Why? You've discovered your work. And like I said, with that one, your, 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 your motivation is all about money. Okay. But it's about how many people are being blessed by you. Imagine you're a healing minister. Imagine, so one thing I tell people is that, look, don't also look at ministry as work. Ministry is not work. It can be a work to me, but it can be a job to somebody. Because it can be okay, a scale. So it's, it's incumbent on you to that decipher is discover which one is your When it comes to your work, it's your purpose. Okay. 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 It's your purpose. Okay. So you now, one thing, one important point we made last week is that your purpose, purpose is always in the mind of the creator or the manufacturer. Hmm. It's not, it's not this child who determined or who decided I want to, people, I want people to sit on me. Somebody thought about it. Hmm. It was in somebody, I want to make something. A chair which can carry about three people at a time. Mm -hmm. It is somebody's idea. Mm -hmm. So you were an idea, is God's head. Mm -hmm. 
before he brought you out mm. to serve a purpose. Mm. So you must discover that. So for you to know your purpose, it's not your parents who will tell you. Mm. It's not your mother or your father. It's not even you. You must get it right from God. So there are many people who are doing something to them. They are doing it and like they, they, they feel it's my purpose. No, it is only God who can tell you what your purpose is. Wow. That's what the issue is. That's why an every person don't know his purpose. Because we are doing things we feel we are passionate about. I love to do this. And I want to do this. Yes. So for instance, let me give this example. You enter a church. Like I said, you are asked to be a spirit man here. Mm. Or let me even use the same place. Ask us to be a spirit man. Then you come and say, oh, I don't like how the, the Christian is. Mm. Oh, let me come and you are busily working seriously mm. and showing that this place is so good. That is all you feel like mm. you, you, you can do. You are doing it. Yeah. Now, people dress in and steal all the equipment. When your manager come, comes, is he going to punish you or not? Right, he yeah. will. Yes, you've done something good. Mm -hmm. But that good is not what it's you not, are. It's not your KPI. That, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. Our foundation of love, purpose, is what is going to determine our judgment. Mm. You were here for a specific assignment. Okay. So yeah, you may be something you, you may do something good for humanity. Mm -hmm. People are happy. People are you, you are blessing people. But as much or as long as it's not your purpose, you are still going to face judgment. Mm. I see. Because people will be dying because of you. Okay. Although you are doing something right. How to know okay. that you're going to answer, right? Let me read the Bible. Okay. First Peter. <laughs> Apostle First Peter. Chapter four, verse ten. Chapter four, verse ten. It says that as every man had received the gift. Even so, minister the same one to another, as God, as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. As every man had received the gift, even so, minister the same one to another, as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Yeah. So, so what you receive, the gift you show. But should you, should you, should you be aware that someone else is benefiting from what you're giving Of course. Out? So for instance, one thing I discovered about myself, like I said, is I've been built to raise leaders. Okay. Now watch it. And you see, one thing, I mean, when you get with me, you are jumping, but let me say this. So, and what, whatever you are wired for, you see, your purpose determines the gift that God gives you. I remember, I, think I, shared, I don't know if I shared this here, when I was, we were going to do um, wire installation for our church building, mm. the electric, electrical engineer came and said, okay, Pastor, what are the items you are going to use? You are going to use light, say, yes. okay, you, you buy 1.5 cable, mm. you are going to use fans, I say yes, then you buy 2.5. Are you going to use a condition? I say yes, then you buy 4 mm. Mm -hmm. So you know what, we are, the cables that is being used to wire the building mm -hmm. is being determined by the equipment mm -hmm. they are going to use. use. Mm -hmm. The drills, all the things God builds in you is being determined by what he, or the assignment he has given unto you. So when you're able to discover it, then you know that this is what I've been built to do. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? So you know directly who are those who need your, um, your gifts. I mm -hmm. it. And like I said, when you also discover you don't allow money to be your influence, because eventually, you see, the Bible speaking said, all men see thee. That's what they told you. Mm -hmm. You should get to that point where everybody can come around you and benefit the rich, the poor, the young, the old, everybody. Mm -hmm. The moment you discover your purpose, and there's only a few can come for benefit, there's a problem. Like I said. But you see, there's another teaching. Number one, I do leadership, I bring it in. There, there are three levels of success. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we are, well, let, let me check it in. So, that you mentioned that when I said I don't charge for ministry. Mm -hmm. Now, when people even call for counseling, say, Pastor, how much do you charge? I said, I don't charge. He said, No, no, I said, No, I can't charge. Because ministry work is not my job. But when they give something, you can Of course, see. that one, okay. you, are, you are so innocent. But it's when I said, I, you know, I remember I met a lady who. Acquired chair. Whose who son was sick. Took the baby to a, a man of a very popular one. And the I'm charging 2000 The lady couldn't get the money, the child died. Mm. And this lady was crying. Because to her, this man of God had the opportunity to save the child, but because of money. Mm. I, that's I know a lot of them do that. But you see, from where I said, like, I won't judge that man of God. I don't know whether what he's doing is his purpose work or, or his work. Because there are people who build their skills mm. in that direction. Okay. And we will go on saying, I mean, I need their man, or who's a man, So you must discover. Okay. Whether it's your job or your work. But aside that, you should also know there are three levels of success. There are so many people. I meet people, I'm like, an average Ghanaian cannot rise to the top. Not because God hasn't blessed us. Mm -hmm. But the kind of mindset we keep is also a problem. Mm -hmm. There are three levels that we all operate. And I don't know where you are operating now. But the first level, where majority, about 90% of, I mean, Ghanaians are operating. I mean, them draws, that's what I've discovered. It's what we call the transactional level. Mm -hmm. Transactions where I come to you and say, I want you this phone, I will give you this. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you are giving something out, you are receiving something. Okay. So if I go to buy the pure, a, a, a pure water, I say, it's one CD. Mm -hmm. 
I can't even do more than 100 cities. Mm -hmm. Even the pure water seller will be short because yeah. she doesn't know me from anywhere. Right. Yeah. So I pay accordingly. Mm -hmm. You see the the, yeah. the value of it. The value of it. So if once they pay as I can sell it, we would fight it, we would take the change. Mm -hmm. But I won't pay 100,000 cities for pure water. So once yeah. that, 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 what, what you say? I'll give you a money equivalent to all the value what of the product. So what you're selling. Here's the problem. So whenever you are at transaction level, before you make any move, before you do anything, the first thing I think of what is in it for me? Mm -hmm. That's the kind of mindset. It didn't mean that she would be yet. Many people that's so we can't do or we will not do anything as much or as long as we don't find the benefits we are going to derive. Mm -hmm. We are so reasonable. Mm -hmm. So when you are at the transaction level, why do you need a We are mm -hmm. so reasonable. So just think that problem is what I need ABC as well. You are going to use my time, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, pay this. It's reasonable, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so at transactional level, we are mm -hmm. reasonable, mm -hmm. very important. Open to Colossians 3.23, that's the foundation we are going to use now. Now, there's a second level called transformational level. Right, partner? Mm -hmm. Transformational. If you are able to move to that level, that's where our grandfather, our old father used to be. To Abodo, Rusunani. Mm -hmm. When at that level, your interest is not about what you get from somebody today. But you are just in the that kind of, under, with the understanding that, look, we are supposed to be helpless. Mm. So let me help Josephine today. She may not even have what it is or whatever to give me right. today. But who knows tomorrow where God will place her? Sure. Perhaps she can even come back and remember me. Mm. There are some who also have that idea. Yeah. So they can meet Diego, they don't know you for anywhere. They will decide to okay, help him. Sometimes I remember in school, we used to have this room and we will be giving us Baruku or Tom Baruku, I know I'm a tourist. Anyway, who wants to the minister or somebody who wants to person? That time, no way. Mm. Now at this level, mm. watch it. Watch it. Mm. So mm. this woman, was not my mother, anybody, yeah. not even my family member, but she was investing. You can only operate at this level when you have the transformational mindset. Mm. Where you are thinking that, look, who knows where God will place any of this? But that's the mindset you have. Yeah. Now, when somebody now by the grace of God remembers you, the person will not come and now want to give you money based on them. What you gave him that, But they will look at their. Is it what they can give? Mm -hmm. So, for instance, that person can say, okay, but for two months, you know what? They be an uncompleted mess. Ah. I can build a house for her. Let me build me two bedroom house for her. Yeah. It's not equivalent to the yeah. But I'm giving it for my dimension. Exactly. Mm. It's not about what she deserves, mm -hmm. but what I can Offer. give. Mm. So whenever you operate at a transformation level, anybody at all can come and be a blessing to you. Mm. And many people at that level. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, do yeah. And you're meeting food, it's not or if anybody a collaboration. I've seen a lot of them. Yeah. People can come and say, Oh, like, oh, like David and Jonathan. Mm -hmm. You see, I, I wish Appreciate. I wanted to do something. Yeah. Trans Jonathan was thinking transformationally. Look, let me do something. So there's there will be kind of, uh, 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 this will future, this person. So and it happens. And there are people also at that level. But there's a higher level that people don't know. And that's the foundation of life. Okay. We call the sovereign level. Mm. Where every yes. yes, where everything you are doing, your intention, your understanding is that we don't do good or bad to human beings. Mm. We do it unto God. This is where we derive the, the law of karma from. Mm -hmm. It's very okay. People don't know. The they they will tell you that. what whatever you're doing to nature, and nature will pay you back. Mm -hmm. They will not give reverence to God and say God. But it's not like We are going to read right now. So it can be good or bad. Right? It's, it's, so, so in this one, and people don't know. We don't commit a crime against human beings on this earth. Mm -hmm. Now, when you check even our laws, the constitution, mm -hmm. do you know that? Do you know why? If somebody should go and steal your car right now, you have no right to be the person. Why? Because oh, yeah, yeah. per our law, the person has not committed a crime against. No, it's your own car. Yeah. It's that error or that crime has committed to against the state. That's when you tell the person to court, you be what the republic versus the person. You will only be a witness to the case. You can't take a criminal case to court and say, I want to withdraw it. No, it's only seven cases you can withdraw. People don't know this. Most of these things are biblical, but we don't know. Just wait. <laughs> Most of us don't know. It's a foundational, it's a foundational principle that people don't know. God sits as a judge. Like when you go to Parliament House, mm -hmm. you address the speaker, even though mm -hmm. a sitting uh, 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 Aaron Edris wants to address Jay Mensah, mm -hmm. he will say Mr. Speaker. Yeah. Whatever we do, we, uh, so life or this world is a triangular. Mm -hmm. You stand one end, every other person stands around, and God sits at the mm -hmm. top there. He sits as a judge. Mm -hmm. So we don't commit evil against human beings, and we don't also do good against uh, for human beings. People don't know this. So whatever you are doing for or against anybody, always remember it will pass through God before. So you offend God and God will pass. He said, Jed, the same way our constitution, if somebody steals your car or your phone and you end up beating the person, the constitution or the, the, the law says you shall arrest, you know mm -hmm. why? Mm -hmm. The person didn't commit a crime against you. 
You also don't have the right to commit any crime. So what the fact crime you have committed, it's also against the state. Mm. So you're equally guilty. You'll be arrested. Mm. You hand the, the person over to the police. So you're police when you want to over over the crowd. No, that one is a different thing. Yeah. But when you, if you're able to establish that person will be in, in trouble. Yeah. But you know they know that one is you're in confinement. You don't even have phones and the, mm -hmm. no evidence. Yeah. So but they know per the law, they have no right to even beat you. Mm -hmm. Yes, if yeah. any, there's any evidence. Mm -hmm. They will be in trouble. Yeah. But the point I want to make is this when going to the Supreme Court, you don't address individuals, you address the judges. Yeah. My Lord. Mm -hmm. It's a principle, and that is what the Bible is. This is what the, this is what the earth, earth is founded on. And that's why I meet people say, Oh, be I am bonnet, why am I not shaming? And we have even marriages. That's why when it comes to even marriage goods, every rule about marriage was never on condition or it was not built on the individual. No. Wife, submit to your own husband, husband, not because your husband is good, bad, or this. As to the Lord, mm -hmm. so the focus is God. Yes, God. So I tell people, you have no right to misbehave in your marriage because your focus, your foundation, is on your husband. The same way, likewise, husband love your right. wife not because they, she's good or better right. or she's submissive or not, but as Christ loved the church. Mm -hmm. So your focus is right. Everything God built is not on individuals. No. That's what I'm saying. You should understand. That's why before you go to marriage, you should understand the rules. It, it, and this is a general principle that holds this head. The, the law that is holding this, people don't know. And the laws of the law is not in the school. That's, mm -hmm. And the same principle is what God now said, for lack of knowledge, my people perish. He didn't say I would save them because they're ignorant. No. Mm -hmm. He said you are going to perish for lack of knowledge. And we, in our constitution, say ignorance of the law is not an excuse. Mm -hmm. The same thing. It's biblical. You understand? Yeah. So the point is, is that the level three is where I will encourage everybody watching us. To a platform, and like I said, an average Ghanaian is not there. We, we are so selfish and self centered. That's why we don't have leaders who, because they go there because they don't understand these principles. No? They are interested about what they can, uh, how they can mass well for themselves. But if you understand the foundation of life, we don't serve human beings. So, whatever you are doing, you are not doing it against the Ghanaians, you are doing it against God. And like I said, we are so fortunate that the law of karma is biblical. So, read Colossians chapter 3, verse 23. It says that work work willingly at whatever you do. Whatever, and that whatever means whatever. So if, if I want to okay, slap so Joseph, this this is not King James, right? Yeah, we can read the New King James. No, 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 no. Okay, the New King James <laughs> use the whatever. Yeah, and whatever you do, whatever. Do it so whatever means whatever. Which means if you want to slap somebody, do it well. If you want to kill somebody, <laughs> do it well. If you want to show love, do it's whatever. It's it's neutral statement. He didn't say good or bad. Whatever. You know why? Continue. As to the Lord. So remember, as to who? To men. Not to men. We don't do anything for or against human beings on this side. We don't know. We are going to, no, we are going to end it. So you, you appreciate it. So, and the same way, people don't also offend us. So stop taking offenses. I, I'm so I'm so angry at this. No, people don't. We are human. Yeah, that that is where they so We've not been educated enough. Hey. Another Christian don't know the Bible. It's not easy. That's what I'm saying. It's about what is easy or not. We are teaching, you see, <laughs> these are principles that you should have been taught long but, ago. On the, on the issue of um, anger, there, even Jesus Christ, he bought the church and declared it. We lash them. We you, are not, you, are not, you are not getting my so, point. Maybe we'll come back and treat I'm the, just, the just topic of anger mm. and how people, I mean, the 10 ways we exhibit our anger. So that you learn. But the point is, is anger in itself is a neutral emotion. It's not negative or bad. Do you know out of anger, uh -huh, mm -hmm. people have been able to come out, out with invention? Because they were frustrated. Mm -hmm. Just last time I was here, we had a conversation. Because maybe somebody was frustrating you, not doing it, you begin to learn the thing so that you can do it. So through your anger, yeah. it has helped you to build yourself. Mm -hmm. Somebody can choose the same anger to go and fight another person. So anger in itself is not negative, but it depends on how you exhibit it. Everybody can get angry. That's what the Bible can tell you. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 20 says that be angry, but do not sin. God Himself allows you to get angry, but use that anger positively. And that anger is a whole topic. We'll come back to that. That's okay. All right, so let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's finish on the, the uh, collision. So, whatever you do, okay. always remember, do, do it heartily. Now, remember, you're not doing it to human beings, yeah. but you're doing it unto so, God. Now, listen to them. And then, uh, so knowing that, says, so whether you know or you don't that, know, he's expecting you to know. Yeah, knowing that from the Lord, from who receive, from who the Lord. Trust me, I say, man, no me hukrame, me shume pwani papa, I'm kada bwakrame. The way I help Diego and Diego did it. Please stop that nonsense. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. You don't understand the Bible. Knowing that, yes, you gave the the, the cross to Diego. Yes, you have the ability to do A, B, C, D, but that reward will not ever come from Diego. It comes from God. And God will choose whoever he needs to use to come and bless you. Yeah, 
you see, that is every set you make, eh? I have to now <laughs> bring in some education. <laughs> Why? Because you, you are exhibiting the kind of mindset an African, I mean, Christian now. Mm. And it's true. That's what I'm saying. We need to educate. And I'm happy this opportunity we're giving. Mm. And I believe people are watching. See, the point is, Nami will be trying to inform about our child. If I enter or if I come to HSCB here and I don't have the key to this door, I can stand there for a thousand years until somebody brings a key. Right. Mm. The fact that I have stayed there long doesn't mean the door could not be opened, but I didn't have the key. Every scripture in the Bible is a key. Yes. Do you know why Jesus will tell you, I deal with the keys to the kingdom. If you enter somebody's room or somebody's house, yes, you've brought in the key to open the main entrance, you are there. And you don't have the key to open the, uh, the washroom, you will be there. I haven't yourself room. It doesn't mean washroom if you're home, but you don't have the key to open the washroom. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the key to open the kitchen, you will be thrown a common door. doesn't mean there's no food there. But you don't. So most of the things we are struggling to have, it's not that it's not available. But we don't have the keys. To this is one of the keys to life. That you will now begin to prepare your mind that in this world I live, we don't help human beings. We don't do good to human beings. We don't bless human beings. And we don't also commit crime against human beings. So therefore, from today onwards, my focus should be on God and with understanding. The reason why I am a Chinese, I mean, I am a Joseph, to me, I trust a Joseph, to me, yeah, yeah, no more time. What you can't violate here, I'm not even praise in the Bible that cares me unto any man who puts you trust. I'm my wife, and you know, Stephanie, I'm sorry, sorry. So, say, cares me unto any man who put. So, the day I made them inform my Stephanie, now me what I understand, me, China, Stephanie, yeah, yeah, no, my volunteer prince, my evil quick principle that will put a curse on you. And to be fair, you just won't try me. Mm. Oh, yes, yeah, so I did a teaching on Tatulu. They did a better thing, show me, but I mean, show me, what so man, stop that. It's your duty. Hey. Yes. Hey. You see, the Bible you are reading, take your time, take your time. I just said, take your time. It's your duty, it's my duty to take care of my children. Mm -hmm. It's my duty and my prayer that my children will find their feet in life and be successful. Yeah. And it's also my duty to take care of myself. I already had my mother, you know, because daddy, my two be more magic. But I wouldn't sit there and say, me, share me, 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 and nobody is going to cry me. Then I will now in turn start cursing them. To about to be cry here. And I'm a shame. I'm a bummy. I'm a shame. No. And then one shame. No. Or curse on any. And then I'm a. And to one away. I'm a shame. I'm a shame. I'm a shame. I'm a shame. Why? Because I'm still talking with you. You know. With the action. I'm a shame. I'm a shame. I'm a shame. I'm a shame. Curse me unto him. Who put his trust on another man. And what do I do? What? And this is like that. This scripture settles all these problems we are having. Men pay one say. Men may be dee. So that they can also be a blessing unto others. Mm. Okay. That's the principle. Or man also that idea. Why not? I will accept it. But in shame, it three must say change some about it because say young person share me here. That point depends on this. Now watch it. God is the creator of the universe. They just like somebody who has over seven billion employ employees. Mm -hmm. He can send any of them to come and visit you. That God we are talking about here. Mm. This world we are more than seven billion. Yeah. What you can only understand the scripture. And I do something for Stephanie. All that I think about, Lord, I have done something for you. He can choose to bring anybody who do, who who does not even know me. That's why it can be something like me. Name, but if you listen, you may come and say maybe be bound. You may be from what's in there. But if you operate at this level, you will hear that every day, because God can use anyone. It's not that He will use the same person. No, He can use any other person to bring it. So don't put your focus, don't focus on Diego because Diego is the one I did ABC before. Stephanie is the one I did ABC before. So it must come from Stephanie. Enter another channel. Into another channel, Diego. Because we want to focus on the right source. So let's settle on this scripture, please. Let, so whatever you do, do it heartily. Mm -hmm. As to who? The Lord. The Lord. And not to men. Mm -hmm. Knowing that from the, the Lord. You receive the not from Stephanie, not from Diego, of, not from your wife, mm -hmm. not from your husband. So I make purpose, I'm like, we've already broken the foundation. So you, you are attacking yourself. The whole concept of marriage was not built on the two of you. Mm. When did God tell you, don't do it because your husband don't do this? It's not in your Bible. And it will never be found in your Bible. Whatever commandment God gave you. So it's my, whatever my wife is doing, I understand. She's doing it unto the Lord. I also do mine unto the Lord. What it means is that, I will do what I think is right. What God has commanded me to do. And I leave the rest to God. That is your purpose. That is what, no, you're not even, that's what I'm telling you, you've changed us to a foundation which I believe is also right. That's how okay. I want to set to God. And every guy here on the street thing said, people are bitter. This creature, it comes up on 90 or 100 spirit. That is killing us. Mm -hmm. Bitterness, one of the greatest spirit that you can call for. Because of this unit. Why? Because you don't want to work one, because you were focusing on the person that even in 10. 
be a curse on you. Oh, which means more be a juma. Which means more be a the H one H S T V. I don't know if I bury your home. Near you with You feel so bitter. Help this person and look at him. He has that A B. Look, relax. This creature cancel all this. So that whatever you are doing, yes, God has used you. To be a blessing to Stephanie or Diego. But my focus is, I'm not thinking, so that when Stephanie is very kind, mm -hmm. no, but my focus is, when is God going to give it back to me? Because that is its word. So let's, mm -hmm. let's end this scripture. Knowing that from the Lord you will receive, receive an inheritance. Mm -hmm. Yes. Read it for me. Yeah. Okay, so um, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance. Yes. For you serve yeah, the Lord Christ. That's it. But he who does wrong yes. will be repaid for what he has done. That's the same thing. And there is no partiality. There's no partiality. God is a God of just. He's a just Lord. A human being can forget you, but God cannot forget you. It's a foundation that even pastors have violated. They don't know. That's what people are bitter today. So I'm saying this. Now, when you're able to discover your purpose, and you also have understanding of this. That's what today, people have discovered their purpose, but they've turned it to